Hi guys, it's Sharon from Love Lady Box. It is my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Madison. Mm. I love you. And so because she is in her mid-20s, next year is the 2020s, she has decided to throw a 20s themed birthday party, or birthday drinks rather. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do today. So I'm going to do 1920s makeup. I'm going to attempt to do 1920s hair. We'll leave that to the end because I can curl my hair pretty quickly and if I can't do anything more with it, the makeup is like way more important. Um, I can definitely pull off the 1920s makeup, that's for sure. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. We're actually going to start with our eyes because 1920s looks are predominantly quite dark, like bare face-wise. I'm really dark, really focusing on the eyes and the lips. And just for reference, we're going to be going from this to this. So first things first, I'm just going to start with combing my brows through the brow gel. I'm not staying accurate to the 1920s makeup because that would be like a pencil thin brow. I'm not doing that. I'm already having hard enough time growing these bloggers in. If anything, I'm doing the opposite to 1920s brows because I'm making them look bigger and fluffier. There's some things that we can keep for the 20s. Next, I'm going in with my Glam Lior Primer. I love this stuff. I'm mainly taking this over the center of the face and the eyelids because I'm going in a building with lots of air conditioning. We want the hydration, yo. Actually, let me zoom you guys in. Going in with my Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm going to use that as my base for my eyeshadow. And we're going to do our eyes first. Going in with my Hourglass Ambient Light Palette and a Napoleon Brush Fifteen, which is just a flat brush. We go into the center shape here, Incandescent Light. And I'm going to pop that all over the eyelid because I want a bit of dimension to this. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. Let's have some fun. I've been watching too much Bob Ross. So I'm gonna do like almost a halo eye, but a little bit softer up here than that. A really faint purple, and then like blue, and then black. So let's start with, no, I don't wanna start with the black first. Okay. Ooh, actually, I think a peach palette is gonna be a good choice. It's two colors here, I think. This is where it's going to be at, but with a softer purple. Graveyard Girls Swamp Queen. Mind you, I've got two hours to get ready. One hour on hair, one hour on makeup, so I've got to get moving. This is a Spectrum B04 brush. This is an angled fluffy brush. But I'm going in with the end purple shade here, which is Man Cat. And what I'm actually going to do is, can you see what I'm doing? Dipping just the longer tip in, because this is going to help us blend. Taking that through the crease and then just popping a little bit more in the outer corner using that longer tip again. The tiniest bit deeper on the inner corner. And then just blend this up. So we want this nice and diffuse because this is going to build up. And then I'm just going to keep blending that but we want to take it a little bit higher. Just whatever's left over on the brush. Now it doesn't look like much at the moment but that's because I haven't done the rest of my face. It never looks like as nice when your base hasn't been done until like you put your base on and then you're like oh my god it's so beautiful. And on the outer corner we want to sort of like sweep it down a little bit. We almost want to look a little bit droopy inside. Okay going in with a Spectrum A012 brush and the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'm going to go into Talk Derby to me, which is which is the purple look just here. Really map this out. I'm gonna take this on the inner corner and the outer corner. And I'm just gonna take a B06 brush. I'm just going to blend that. When you sufficiently look like somebody has punched you, it's time to continue. So we're going to go into, oh, sorry, the previous colour, this purple was delectable. Apologies for that. The, the shade that we're going to now is Talk Derby to me. And that same, um, it's a pencil brush, the Spectrum A12 brush. So yeah, just doing a little circle. Just really deepen it up. So I'm dragging it into where the halo is starting. The tiniest amount. I'm going to do it so you guys can see. In the corner, but I'm just I'm just gonna drag it in. 
an oldie but a goodie. This is the Lime Time Alchemy palette, and we're going to take this. It's like a turquoise shade, um, Divination. I'll just take that, and I'm just going to like pat it where the joint is. I just want to bring in a little bit more blue. Okay, it's so, not uh, giving the effect that I want. Going in with a Napoleon brush 13, which is a small flat brush and that same divination shade. I'm just going to put some Tarte Shade Tape on the end of the brush. This is a Napoleon brush 8. I'm just putting that on in the main part of the lid. Looking up to find out if anything's going to transfer so I know where to stop. And then just diffusing those edges. Going in to Lime Prime palette the Antoinette. I'm going into this silver here on my finger. It's getting that angled fluffy brush. Diffusing that a bit more. Gonna go in with highlight by Lime Prime the Mermaid set. We tap into uh, Seashell and Mermaid, which is the, the purple and the blue. And same thing again. It's just a bit of going back and forth with this look. It makes all the difference. I feel like I need a really obnoxious amount of highlight on the inner corner. Just blending that up into the socket a little. I'm going to put on some Urban Decay 24 7 Light On Liner. I think I'm going to do black on the top and then use the blue to smoke out underneath. Going in with my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, which I think is really fitting. And I'll be putting on falsies today, I'm just going to put mascara. And as usual, I was going to put this on the top of my hooded eyelids, so I'll just leave it dry and then I'll like buff it out shortly. I'll try not to forget this time because one of my other videos I just like left it and I was just like, Sharon, what are you doing? I'm out of compact, so I'm going to use a tissue and just a little bit of my hair to just sort of clean up my under eye area. Under eye bags are in full force today. I'm going to go in with the Galan Dior Primer, a little bit more under the eyes now. Going in with my Benefit Professional. I'll give you one guess which foundation we're using. That's right, Marc Jacobs. So like always, mixing my custom shade for what I am today, which is, I think, a little bit fairer. And I'm using a soap brush. It's like a dense, creaky so. Taking a bit of my Tarte Shape Tape in light, and I just really want to lighten the under eyes. This is going to bring out purple tones that are naturally in my eyes, and I really want it to be quite flawless. And then I'm just blending that in with an Napoleon Concealer Brush. Just going to take some of that down my nose and center of the chin. Next, I'm going into some cream contouring. I'm going to go into the deeper shade today. The reason why I'm cream contouring is because I can blend it out better and I don't think I really did contouring back in the 20s. Going into my Tarte Kiss and Blush palette to the shade Saucy, which is this very tone down here. Putting that same colour on the lip. Put a concealer on the outside of the mouth. I'm going to go and set my under eyes and then we'll fix up this under eye area to the nose. Taking that Urban Decay Eyeliner 24 7 Glide On Pencil in Zero and I'm going to align my waterline. Taking the blue and then I'm going to go just underneath that. Taking that pencil brush and the next left over on this brush we're going to use to blend out. And you're going to connect it. Going back in with that angled fluffy brush and once again using whatever's left on the brush but really diffusing this out of corner. I'm going to drag this down a little bit more. I'm just going to bump this in here. Just 
using a universal brow pencil. Taking the shade M8 on that small face brush. Oh, I'm gonna get stuck into the hair now. I'm just gonna go through and brush it. Now, if I had shorter hair, we'd have so much more fun. We could definitely do like finger waves, but unfortunately, we will not have that luxury today. Instead of curling this side of my hair out, we're gonna curl it in instead. All right, that's pretty good, it's pretty neat. I have a few hairs here that don't know what they're doing, but that's fine. Like, if you had short enough hair, I don't see a short hair, so we ain't doing that. So I've already used my RPR Protect My Hair. Uh, I put that in even before I started because I like my hair to dry before I start using it. will give like just the gentlest spritzing ever. Did I accidentally kill it out? I did. Freaking hell. Alright, let's start from the front. Let's see if we can get this going because. One curl down. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can keep doing this. This is so hard to curl this way. I'm so used to curling the other way. I didn't think it was gonna be as difficult as this to do. Put your hair in, reach around, pull it over, flip it, drag through. This is so much more complicated than me curling it the other way. And then I gotta remember to turn it in when I'm done. Otherwise I accidentally turn the other way and it's gonna confuse my hair. I don't care that I look crazy up here. I need these hair out of the way. There's a reason why I don't start at the front. So put it in, grab it, try not to burn yourself, flip this around, and pull through. A little longer than a few minutes later. I need a break. I'm going to skip to this side for a sec so I can make progress somewhere. I'll show you how easy this side is. This is the Spotlight Glow Stick. Putting that in. And I'm actually just going to leave this wet because I like the look. But I'm just going to pat it in. It's very small to the Christmas look I did, but I feel like this is like way prettier. Brush these curls under. Oh, 
Okay. I cannot believe it, but we're done. I'm gonna take my brow gel and just get these flyaways down. Now I have to remember to like not touch my hair all night, which is gonna be so difficult. Okay, finally. I'll just get in my costume and then we'll be pretty much done. A few moments later. Okay, I have a earring because that's really all I need. I don't need two. I have my dress on. So I bought this, I think it's from Retro Stage. And it's really pretty. Uh, it's a little short. I bought a large and an extra large because I wasn't sure which one was going to fit me. Well, the large fit me. I probably could have even got away with medium to be honest. Yeah, it was really short and I compared the extra large to the large and they are both the same length. So I'm just like, what the frick? So I'm actually wearing a pajama uh, dress underneath. I'm wearing it as a slip. Uh, because otherwise my bum flashes out of the back of my dress which is a little bit annoying but it's a really really pretty dress I'm pairing this dress with some Alexander McQueen heels I love this leaf detail on the heel they're just stunning um, I may end up taking my Chanel bag with me just because I've got a little bit more space in my bag uh, otherwise I was considering bringing this little clutch this is from Colette um, this is only like 40 bucks on sale. I think originally it was 80 so it's like very reasonable. So that's my outfit. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this look and you found it helpful. The Roaring Twenties are coming back so I really hope that this is useful in the future for anybody that's going to any Twenties themes parties or um, just in general it's like always fun to dress up and do something interesting. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe, hit that button down below, become part of the Lux family. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I post cool videos like this. If you like videos like this, please let me know or if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like me to do, let me know because it can be kind of hard to think of like new things to do all the time. Like I don't know how people have been doing YouTube for 10 years. This is my third year and I struggle so bad for inspiration. I don't know. I'm going to stop waffling on now. So <laughs> if you'd like to see more of me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on social media. My Facebook and Instagram are both Love Lady Lux and my Snapchat is Makeup by Sharon. Uh, if I vlog any of tonight, I would definitely include it now. Hi guys, it's Sharon. I'm just in the car. I am a total goose and I forgot to show you guys my headpiece and my pearls, which you can't see because I can't see but honestly this is my headpiece. And then I added some pearls and I put on a Carolina Herrera Good Girl perfume. Um, so we're just on our way to the venue now and uh, I'm going to refilm this bit if it looks really terrible. And then uh, I'll show you guys the party a little bit. I'm with the beautiful birthday girl. And that's my motto for 2019, embracing the new things. This was Sharon from the Lady Lux, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.